Well, hello guys. Welcome back to the next episode of some Final Fantasy. Um, last episode we finished doing one of our class quests and um, we actually got some this new gear from doing the uh, the training with this guy. Gear looks rather snazzy, I might say. Definitely liking that. So now we can finally speak to Baderon and um, see what he has to say. So let's get to Baderon. Baderon, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench, has a suggestion to put you on the road towards a new adventure. All right, new adventure. Does that mean we're leaving? How do you fare, Creedjor? Rested and ready to expand your horizons? Oh, we're expanding our horizons. We're gonna leave. Well then, I have an idea of where you might try heading next. Have you heard of the Skylift out in the middle of Nosha? Hmm. If you ever visited Woad Whisper Canyon, we have, then you must be you must have been up and down the thing at least once. It's that bleating scaffold and attached to the descent. You've likely seen the lads and lasses out there using it to haul up cargo up the cliff face. Hard labor that, and I hear they could use an enterprise in Seoul to pick up the odd jobs what no other bugger has the time to deal with. So we have the time. No one else has the time, but we do. Hmm. Track down the head of the operation, bloke by the name of Wirt... Wirtcrit? And he'll be sure to put you to work on a task or two. Hmm. What level is this quest? Level 10. Alright, so once we get to the level 20 main mission, um, so we'll do level 15 and then we'll, because they give us at every five levels. So, we'll try to like keep in touch with our class mission. as well. Don't want to get too far ahead of one or the other. Because the class missions give some pretty good stuff, so. Alright. It's a nice day to be running around Eorzea. Nice and sunny. Everything's bright and colorful. I really do like the sense of adventure this game gives you. It's uh, unlike any other. Only other um, games where uh, me personally really felt a sense of adventure like this is uh, Guild Wars 2. And um, especially Guild Wars 2. That's a really, uh, really interesting game. And uh, World of Warcraft. Very fun stuff. Oh, look, there's a quest. Is it here? I don't think it's here. Oh, it, it is. Hello. Can we... It looks...
looks like it's down. Oh, nope. Maybe we'll s mm. we'll speak to Workrit first. Bateron sent you out here, did he? Then consider yourself welcome at the Skylift. Look at that bloody cliff, will ye? One blast of fiery hell from that huge dragon was all it took to split the ground in half. Cargo still needs to get through, though. So this mess of wood and pulleys was our solution to the problem. Well, one of them, at least. If the gods were kind, and they ain't, I'd have about a dozen more workers to handle me growing a list of headaches. Cool. Oh, we don't need these, though. So we'll just take the money. And... Hmm. New quest popped up. Let's continue to talk to Workrit. Workrit, a Skylift operator. We don't need these, so just money. Needs you to recover a cargo load abandoned by a terrified wagon driver, excuse me. It is to its intended recipient. Okay, sure. Glad am I to see ye again, lad. A wagon driver just returned in a great bloody hurry, screaming about some monstrosity what sprang out from the million corn seedling in his cargo. Million corn, that sounds like a Torico like uh, ingredient. Seems the gutless bastard, bastard tossed it over the side afore turning tail and running for his life. I need ye to head down the road, recover that seedling, and deliver it to Leolf over at Swift Perch in western Lenosia. Whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't rightly know what else is lurking inside that plant, and ye deserve to be rewarded for ye troubles. Oh, and you'll also find an aetherite in Swift Perch, so the journey should be worth your while. Cool. Look sharp, laddie. I've got a job for ye. You don't got much time, so listen close. Today I got me too many. F today I uh, I got me too many fish, and not enough water sprite cores to keep them cool. They're using water sprite cores to preserve the fish. That's interesting uh, plot mechanics. I'm digging how they're using things here. You see me problem? Now I can't be delivering crates of rotted fish, so I need ye to head over to head over yonder and dance with them dripping sprites till you've collected three of their chili essences. I do realize I don't want you to actually dance with them, right? Yeah, we're gonna kill them. I, we, I think we understood that. Ah, for the love of Lim Lane, not again. The leather's ripped to bloody shreds. Hmm. No, there's not a rye with me breeches, you cheeky sod. It's the Megalo crabs. They've been at the balloon. En envelopes I left out to dry on the rocks. Those hellspawn snippers think they found a squid or something and set a, and set to nibbling. Less balloons in the air means less cargo getting lifted, and that don't sit well with me. You looking for a quick job? How about you crack a few shells before heading off on your way? If you could put down five or so of the buggers, that ought to do for now. Cool. I think we could do that. Whoa. That's uh, quite the mount there. Let's get to cracking on these crabs. No pun intended. Might as well go stealth first. Whoa. 
Oh, we're, we're level 20, so that makes sense. That was good damage. So I guess since this has such a big cooldown, this mug, it's best used on the boss for us to get a nice uh, chance of rare loot or something. wondering here when we're going to get sent to a dungeon or the like that would be pretty fun oh here's our water sprites that takes care of that or just one more Oh, we still gotta go get our million corn seedling. Maybe we'll uh, check out this fate up ahead and we can uh, probably level to 21, depending on what the level is for the fate. I don't know, they want to level sync us. I mean, maybe we'll just. Oh, uh, level 10. Yeah. Maybe we'll just go ahead and uh, skip this one. If there were some more people, then maybe, but... We should probably take care of that, Jay. Yep, we should pro... Oh, too late. You back already. Don't keep me waiting now. Let's see those cores. Aye, laddie. You done well. Can't wait to get these beauties into me fish crates. That ought to keep the catch fresh and me customers happy. There's a whole mess of delivery companies what make use of the Skylift. You slip up one time and some bastard's liable to steal your business. Thanks, friend. Oh, he has another quest. Let's get that. You've shown yourself to be a useful bloke. What say you to doing me another favor? We've been having a wee problem with the buzzard swooping down and snatching cargo from the wagons what are traveling the road to the Denevel checkpoint. The Denevel checkpoint. Most days, the feathered hellions stay away stay well enough away but it seems they can't resist a wagon that's loaded with meat well i say we make use of that weakness to lure the greedy buggers into a trap here take this sack of rotten meat and set it down in the vulture territory that be where the buzzards make their nest well, that would make sense when the bastards show up for a feast you start breaking beaks with a vengeance easy
Okay. You take care of them snippers? Good bloody riddance. Nice work there, lad. Still, it won't be long before a new crew of crabs come sliding in to claim that territory. And our loads just keep getting heavier and heavier, what with all that rebuilding going on. If you don't want to be buried under a mountain of crates, I'd best think of a more lasting solution to the snipper problem. Does that indicate another quest? I guess not. That takes care of that. Didn't get your eyes pecked out, did ye? Them buzzards be a nasty lot. But the last wagon made it through with nary a morsel lost. So I'd say you've plucked enough of their thieving hides to secure the route. Yeah, me thanks, lad. I make I make the most of me coin hauling foodstuffs, and I'd be bedding down in the gutter within a week if it weren't for your help. Seems the scavengers are finding the pickin' scarce since the calamity hit, otherwise you'd never see them trying to try and aught so bold. Fortune didn't favor him worth spit this time though, huh? Okay, off to Swift Perch, which is on another map. So now we need to check to see if we're actually Okay. Going the right way. Cool, we're tuned. Uh, we should check out the leave meats. See what that's about. A lonely place, this swift perch. That don't mean there ain't work to be done. Just not by the likes of an unbloodied fry like yourself. Till you've shown you can hold your own, I'll entrust the safety of this godforsaken corner to the realm of more, two more capable hands. Wait, we're not good enough? Seems, uh, okay. Really? Okay. Looks like we're set to level here though, so let's maybe once we level we'll be good enough. Has Naimia 
herself forsaken this desolate land, though I understood there were risk in gambling my entire fortune on a crop of million corn. I at least expected the seedling to be delivered before the disaster struck. Here you go, friend. Is... Is that my million corn seedling? Oh, joyous day. It may seem a paltry beginning, but the yield of this particular variety of crop plant it is nothing short of astonishing. I mean, it sounds pretty astonishing, the yield. Million corn? As you have undoubtedly noticed, Swift Perch lacks a certain, shall we say, vital energy. Yeah, everything looks kind of dead over here, bro. It's very brown. Thus, I mean to restore a modicum of hope to its residents by growing a veritable ocean of corn. Good on you. You, sir, seem fit to burst with vim and vigor. Might I persuade you to abide to abide a while and help nurture this ailing settlement. Sure, let's, uh, only we don't need any of this. So now we're 21. All these wild dodos you see about the place were actually once domesticated birds bred by my father. They broke loose during the chaos of the calamity and gradually became feral. Ill-tempered creatures we now do our best to avoid. But if I am to restore Swift Perch to the very same settlement it was when my father was alive, then I must also try my hand at dodo raising. And you have likely surmised I shall require your adventurer's resourcefulness in this endeavor. I, yeah, sounds about right. For the initial stage of my dodo rearing enterprise, I need you to head into the flock and seek the dodo's nest. You'll be looking for fertilized eggs. Three of them should do nicely. But pray be careful when liberating the eggs. The adult dodos will not take kindly to an intruder making off with their offspring. Sounds about right. They don't want us to take their eggs, imagine that. You there, adventurer. Cast your eyes towards the brewer's beacon. Does the light not seem uncommonly weak? I don't see one. Maybe there? I don't see one. It cannot possibly possibly be bright enough to guide the ship's passing or the ship sailing in the bay. I would march over to the lighthouse and investigate myself, but I am duty bound to remain on my post, so it is this. I would consider it a favor if you would make a visit to the Brewer's Beacon and see if aught has befallen. Cons. Conswis. Conswis? The lighthouse keeper. Okay. Let's, uh, check. Well, it doesn't look like anything's changed. Yeah, we... C okay. Just sneakily take this egg, sneak away or not. We've been ambushed.
You say Yellow Jacket sent you here? Hmm. Me light's grown dim, has it? Well, of course it bloody has. The bomb what fuels me furnace has buggered off, you see? If I don't get that beacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. I know you're just the messenger, lad, but I can tell adventure when I see one. I'm gonna need you to chase down that bomb and bring back a claw what you ripped from its smoldering corpse. Take this here iron brazier and set her down in the middle of the flock, somewhere near a scarecrow, I'd say. You get a nice fire going and that frisky bomb will soon be about. Watch you don't singe your eyebrows, lad. Sure, let's go check it out. Hear music, but I don't see. Oh, we're in the levels. We're in a, um, a fate. I'm not seeing any. Have we done it? We have not. All you need to do is take down that runaway bomb and bring me one of its little claws. Here you are. Ah, you got the ashy... <laughs> you got the ashy bastard, did ye? Once I put this little firecracker in the furnace, that should keep things running for a while. I had myself a bit of a look while you were gone, and Lim Lane's curse me if the furnace weren't all bent and broken. Small wonder the bloody bomb was able to escape. I patched things up best I could, but I ain't no smitty. You might want to have a chat with the yellow jacket friend of yours in Swift Perch and have him pass the word back to someone in Limza. Sure, we can do that. Let's go see. Oh, we should, um... Be lazy here. With three eggs, I should be able to experiment with breeding. Success or failure is not terribly important to begin with. I mean only to gain some practical experience with the birds. Yes, you did exceptionally well in selecting only fertilized eggs. Now that I consider it, I'm not only entirely I'm not entirely sure how you managed to tell. In any case, I must raise the naturally aggressive dodo, uh, dodo from the eggs if I'm to have any chance of surviving the breeding process. Apart from encouraging a more docile behavior while the bird is but a chick, it is imperative that I remove the gland that produces that infamous poisonous breath. My father's note quite graphically depicted the consequences of failing to do so. This really is a rather this really is rather exciting. Every day I take another step toward, step closer towards my vision of swift perch surrounded by golden fields of wheat and echoing with the calls of plump waddling dodos. Cool.
Oh, we uh, get the porter here. The furnace is damaged, is it? Very well. I shall write up the relevant reports. But these repairs must needs must needs be effected without delay. It seems I have another favor to ask you, adventurer. Take yourself straight away to the Armorer's Guild in Limza and explain to the, si the situation to Forge Master Hansa. Nanza. Okay. can't just go there we have to go to the main crystal and then go there Castle Hill. Here is the Guildmaster. The furnace in the brewer's beacon needs repairs. Byry God's ba beard. I just sent someone out to tinker with it, not, not a week's pass. My hap the bomb Conswees had trapped in there was a, touching, a touch too volatile. I'll have an artisan visit the lighthouse and pay special attention to reinforcing the casing of that furnace. Your work is done here, adventurer. May the navigator guide you on your journeys. Okay. Um, seems we don't need these either. Doesn't seem that we need. What say you to taking on some work from Naldik and Vimelis? We have a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run this missive over to Oprim, the head of the shipwright at Morby Docks. Okay. We forge most of the ship bits and pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in the south of Lower Lenosha. That's also where you'll, where you'll find the main offices of Naldik and Vamelis. The Morby Docks is one of Limsalo Menza's most important districts. At least as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure you'll not regret attuning yourself to the Aetherite there. If you've no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd be best served making use of the Chocobo Porters, first floor of Mizzenmast, in case you're wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate and follow the south road. May the navigator guide you. Okay, we can just teleport there.
Barbie docks. Let's go talk to Hungry Man at Brim. You have a missive for me from Ford, Forge Master Hananza. I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon's pass. Let's see it then. I don't think that's what it is. Maybe it is. Blast and botheration. Another delay. I am well aware of the shortages of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. My apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? Why? You already know us, Abram. You already know us. Creator, is it well, Creator? This proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the docks since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but starting with this beauty we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is a symbol, it is a symbol of Wimsalo Menz's rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the seventh Umbral Era. Thus we are striving to complete our construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thalassocracy. Yet even with such unprecedented measure with such unprecedented measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there is no end of jobs for the hard working adventurer. Be you fair warned, there is no place here for layabouts or troublemakers. Okay, we don't need these. Where in the seven hells is that man? Not once in twelve moon in twelve moons has he been late with the shipment, and now two whole turns of the sun without a single word. A shipwright of mine, a young man named Firel's Mead, Firel's Mead recently left Candlekeep Keys to retrieve several crates of supplies ordered from Limsa Lomenza, but has yet to return. Okay. I have sent several missives to Hald Broda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the right nor the supplies he was scheduled to collect. That man knows something, and I severely doubt he is telling me the whole truth. As I cannot leave my post, I would ask you to travel to Candlekeep Key in my stead and inform Hal Broda that if he insists on playing these games, I will, person I will personally see that he is transferred a to Turtleback Island. I think that's where they like keep uh, people like slaves or something, where you just get arrested and then they make you do labor there for your entire sentence. Where he can rot alone in the middle of the sea for an eternity. Or you just can't come back, I think. They just put you there forever because you did something you're not supposed to do. Like, yeah, you get it. Is there a teleport over there? Let's check the map. Nope.
Hmm? Does that self-righteous dog Aprim doubt that I ever told him anything less than the truth? No, we doubt it. He's taken aback. Turtleback Island? He cannot do that, can he? I don't think so, but... I swear on my poor Nana's grave. Navigator, rest her soul. I know not of Frillis Mead, nor her precious supplies. Hells, we're at the keys when... We're here at the keys, ha have had enough. We here at the keys have had enough troubles with these past few sons. With that, what what with that sinking of the Lemonsen cargo ship off the Halt Strand, I haven't the mind to take a proper piss, let alone make note of every scrag that wanders off the grip. I don't think we need these. Level 22, let's go. Oh, we got a, a new skill. Now, the way I see it, if you have time to be standing here questioning my character, then you most certainly have the time to get that arse of yours down to the salt strand and help us search for the survivors of the wreck. Who knows, you may just run across frillis mead. Every run across this frillis mead everyone seems so eager to find. Here's to hoping the navigator hasn't found him first. Okay. Here he is. I am Frillis Mead. You say the foreman's wondering about me whereabouts? I thought he might be, but you must know. I can't show my face at the docks until I've righted the terrible wrong I've caused. Two nights past, I made the trip to the dry docks to Candlekeep Key, just as the foreman asked. The seas were right rough, and the captain of the cargo ship was wary of bringing her too close to the cliffs. So I paid a few coins to a fisher to take me out to meet her. By the time we was halfway twixt shore and ship, the swells had risen to nigh on ten yams. And that and it wasn't long before the waves had hold of us. Try as we might to steady the boat, nature's grip was too tight and we was flung headlong into the Lemonsen galley. When I awoke, both ships were gone. In the cargo, I was to collect lay strewn across the salt strand. I made every effort to salvage it, but sands are crawling with Quirin, and I, ain't, and I ain't one with a sword. And now you see why I cannot return to the dry docks. Okay. Can we creep this without a... No. Let's let him come over here and uh... Doing it too. Yep. That night. I was tossed into the sea like some doll of rags. 
and it weren't long before the word round me faded, or the world round me faded to black as I slipped deeper into the abyss. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hells, and I awoke to find myself washed ashore. And here I've been ever since, waiting for a chance to salvage me master's cargo. Good man. The missing parts. I don't know how I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away, but first I must stop by the quay so that I might pay my respects to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful of coins. Oh, he died? That's sad. Could you tell Aprim that I'll be back at the dry docks by daybreak? Many, th many thanks, adventurer. I will not forget the kindness. Okay, let's tally back to Aprim. I'm relieved to hear that both Frillis Mead and the supplies are unharmed. Though it was foolish of it was foolish for him to believe that I would blame him for that which was obviously out of his hands. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent to the dry docks were as calm as a slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble of the, sh the ships encountered off Candlekeep Keys was of a less natural sort. The sort which Sahagan have been known to conjure. Interesting. Courageous, while I originally had doubts about your motives, you have repeatedly proven yourself an asset to Naldik and Vamelis. I still do not like you. Ouch. Rude. But that does not mean I do not trust you. Gimthoda, head of the watch here at the Dry Docks, believes that pirates may be plotting an attack on the victory and she requires assistance investigating a group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby we have recommended you for the task okay despite all limbs of endured before during and following the calamity the fact that there are still those who would turn their backs on the city-state so that they might line their pockets with a few handfuls of coin just the thought of it sickens me we know where she is. Yep. Ah, yes, I had a feeling you would be the one Opram sent. Since you first arrived at Morbury Docks, I've had my men watch you. You know, there's no need to get angry. I make it a point to keep an eye on all those new to the area. It's simple protocol. And you'll be pleased to know that nothing incriminating was found, of course. You appear to be a model citizen. That and the foreman still thinks somewhat highly of you. Which I must admit is quite shocking. A man doesn't even trust his own mother. Very well then, I assume Aprin informed you of what your task would entail? The pirates, we believe, are conspiring to raid the docks, were last seen making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spinner. I would have you approach I would have you approach the men posing as a lost adventurer, and you cannot somehow and see if you can not somehow learn their intentions. Knangno Knangno Go a weird name stationed at the rear gates can provide you with an exact location of the camp okay
Courageur, haha, I knew it. No more sardines for Kanan Gano. We know, do we know this person? Tonight, I shall dine on the finest salmon in the peninsula. Why? Well, I had a little wager going with some of the other guards on who Aprim would recommend for the next job. I mean, my money was on you. Ah, the job. Yes, of course. If you follow the road past the gates to the southeast, you will eventually come to the barren cape with a single large stone to a barren cape with a single large stone half buried in the cliff overlooking the sea. Followers of the Twelve say it's a holy place dedicated to Nymea the Spinner. I'd be surprised if the pirates camped up there were aware of that, though. Okay. Are we... Is it this way? I'm giving you the count of nine and step back on the path and carry your venturing ass back down to whatever rock it is you crawled out from under. Oh, really? You see, I's added it up. I's added up to me ears with your type roaming the hills like they was yours to roam. It's getting to be that a man cannot enjoy a mug of rum without some shite breathing outlander running up and asking which way is the local level meet. <laughs> Seven L's if I know. I'm a bloody pirate, goddammit. Thal's balls. Thal's balls. Once we... Once we have me boy back, I'm putting this godforsaken pisshole of an island so far behind me, ain't no one will remember I was ever here. Come on, Scrags. We've knives to sharpen. Well, on with you. So the trespassers are indeed pirates, and they aren't indeed planning something. They are indeed planning something. But that is this, what is this talk of me boy back? Hmm. Could it be that their target was never the victory? Something's not right. And I won't sit by idly waiting for those pirates to make the first move. I shall order increased patrols immediately. Thank you again for your help, Creature. It appears we were wise to put our trust in you. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. Grim. Okay. I am concerned, Courageur. It appears that the pirates had you investigate are on the move. They creep ever closer to the dock, so I must assume that they mean to target the victory herself. That ship is the symbol of everything Limsa Menza strives to become, and I, be and I will not allow these base scoundrels to lay a finger upon her hull. We must comprehend, we must apprehend them before they put their plans into motion. And you, Courageo, are just the man to do it. Without your capable assistance, I fear the security of the dry docks cannot be guaranteed. Not moments ago, my guard submitted reports of suspicious activity in the area. Pray begin your efforts, efforts by listening to one of their accounts firsthand. It's a matter of not whom you choose to speak with, but be sure to question either Urs, Urswist at the front gate or Knango at the rear. Any suspect saboteurs you encounter during the course of your investigation are to be interrogated. Any reports of ill findings? Any and report any ill findings directly to me. Let's go talk to Knango about salmon.
Hail adventurer. Glad to have another hand on board to help shore up security. The gods know our reports would sit on Grimthoda's desk, Gimthoda's desk, gathering dust if it weren't for the assistance of those such as yourself. Speaking of reports, though, I saw one of those mangy pirates lurking around the cliffs near the Empty Heart. I'd take a closer look before he has a chance to cover his tracks. Gotcha. Boss spotted me, did you? Well, you're too late. What's to happen is already happening. Hey. Sure we can't jump down there. Oh, now Gimthoda has that aura around her where um, you start a trial. So, um, we will continue on this one in the next episode. So, thanks a lot, guys, for supporting the channel and coming to check out, you know, our adventure through Eorzea. And I really hope to see everyone in the next one. Everyone, take care of yourself, take care of everyone else, and I will see you in the next one. Can't wait for everyone to come back. Uh, create your night out. <laughs>